taking over the world one nerd at a time. Total Nerd Takeover. Hello, Chris Gray from Total Nerd Takeover Studios. And today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your USB headset and USB microphone in Windows 7. Now, if you're using a regular USB headset, this is very simple to do. Plug in your USB headset, and on the very bottom of the screen, you'll get a pop up that says Windows is installing the device drivers. Once that is complete, you will get a complete note of a message saying that this device is uh, that the installation is complete and these device should be working. If that is the case, we're going to want to go down to the bottom. You're going to see the speaker icon. Right click it. It'll bring up this menu. You have a couple different options. We're going to go into playback devices. It'll bring up this new window. This is our sound window. In the sound window, you're going to see a bunch of different choices here, different selections. Now, what you're going to want to do is look for your brand. You'll see it says speakers. You're going to want to find speakers and find your brand. Once you've found your brand, whether it's Corsair, Turtle Beach, PDP Afterglow, whatever it is, you're going to right click on it and hit enable. That will enable audio through your USB from your computer into your headset. Now, you may be wondering, well, what if I'm connected? say with the PDP Afterglows, with an optical audio cable. No problem. Then you're going to want to look for something like this. Now, I'm using a sound card. And you may not have a sound card, uh, a standalone sound card on your computer. You may be using uh, the motherboard, uh, the sound that's built into the motherboard. No problem. Um, this is usually called Realtek. Um, and you'll have digital uh, output, or you'll have Realtek opti uh, output optical. This is probably the one you'll have if you have optical cable built into the motherboard. So you'll right click on that and you'll hit enable. That will enable the, the audio to go through. Now if you're using a sound card like I am, a Creative or a um, Asus or whatever, you'll look for that brand and you'll look for this. And you'll see SPDIF. What does that mean? Sony Philips Digital Interface Format Out, which is a fancy way of saying it's an audio optical cable out. You're going to right click on that and you're going to hit enable. And as you can see, it's already enabled. And there you go. That's how you connect the speaker part. All done. That's all you got to do. Find your brand, right click it, enable. If you're using an optical, that's if you're using a USB. If you're using an optical cable, you're going to look, want to look for something that says SPDIF out, or you're going to want to look for something that says um, digital output optical okay moving right along so now we want to get the microphone to work so up here you'll see recording click on recording now you're going to want to find the brand of your headset if you're going to be using the microphone built into your headset and right here is the afterglow wireless chat interface because i'm using the pdp afterglow nerve headset at the moment so what you'll want to do if you want to use that microphone you'll right click it and hit enable that's all you have to do, and that microphone will be enabled. That'll run the audio through the USB from the computer to Skype or to TeamSpeak or Ventrilo or whatever um, voice chat service you're going to be using. Now, I'm running a third-party microphone called the ATR or the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB microphone. I've talked about it on many of the podcasts. My co-host on my podcast used this microphone. This is the microphone I use when I stream video game content, and I just absolutely love this microphone. It's the one I'm talking to you right now. As you can see, you can see my levels. So if you want to connect a third-party microphone with a USB, right-click it, and you'll hit Enable. Now, I already have it enabled, so I only have the option for Disable, but you'll see the word Enabled here. You'll tap it, and boom, you're off to the races. That's all there is to it. So that's how you connect the USB. And if you want to use line in or a different microphone connection, they're all right here. You just right click and enable. All right. That should do it for hooking up your headphones. Now, um, I hope this video was helpful. 
And if it was, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Be honest. I love honesty. If you need further help, the comment section is down below. Please leave me a comment or a question, and I will answer it as quickly as I possibly can. And thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, don't forget to try check out our other stuff we do at teenerty.com. We don't just do video um, video work. We also do podcasting work. We do five different shows. We have an Apple podcast where we talk about tips and tricks and Apple news and how to better use Apple products. We have a podcast for movie reviews, nerds reviewing movies called Nerd Theater. We have a podcast where we talk about the Game of Thrones and the books called A Song of Ice and Fire. And that podcast is called Behind the Iron Throne. We have a podcast on video games called Teener T Gaming. And we also have a Teener T Gaming YouTube. And we have the flagship podcast, All Things Pop Culture and Nerd, called Teener T. You can find all that stuff out at teenerty.com. So thanks for checking out this video. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks to everyone who already has subscribed. Uh, Nerd Army Forever. And I'll see you guys next time for another great video.